हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर कंटिन्यूस लर्निंग प्रोसेस दिस सेशन विल बी ऑन प्रोजेक्ट फॉर्मुलेशन एंड अप्रेजल दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एवरी असाइनमेंट इज टेकन एज ए प्रोजेक्ट सो आई डॉक्टर सतीश कुमार मित्तल सीनियर फैकल्टी विद गौतम बुद्ध यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल एंड लेट स्टार्ट अवर लर्निंग let's start our learning with albert einstein's uh, statement which is very famous the formulation of the problem is often more essential than its solution if we formulate the problem rightly then it is half the guarantee that the uh, solution will be there and that is the real object a theme of project management so in our today's session we will learn defining projects we will learn defining project management then searching project idea then screening project idea then formulation of project report actually project management and completing a project include several things from where the idea comes then making a feasibility report study then preparing a report then doing project with scheduling it and then completing the project with project appraisal whether there is profit or loss or something so we'll uh, complete this assignment in three uh, videos and this is our first topic before starting the topic let's recap our learning which will be helpful to project management and to this unit and the first learning required are management principles skills you must remember management principles those are planning coordinating organizing staffing directing controlling leadership then entrepreneurship skills are required because entrepreneur do everything need technical skills need legal skills need management skills all these are there then marketing skills are very much important for project because one uh, famous uh, saying is there about marketing that in this world two things are compulsory one is oxygen and other is marketing so marketing skills are must accounts records keeping records is important under accounts then financial statements understanding that you have studied about profit and loss account balance sheet how to prepare accounts and costing that you have studied in uh, previous units about activity based costing direct costing indirect costing all that learning will help us in understanding this topic on project appraisal so let's start it by defining project management a project is a complied and focused temporary activities undertaken to create a unique product or service it is performed by people constrained by limited resources planned executed and controlled let's redefine it further project refers to an investment opportunity which can be analyzed and appraised independently if you correctly could read or hear in previous uh, slide that we try to define theoretically that project and here in project management we are trying to define financially it refers to a series of activities whose goal is to bring into existence a business organization based on a variable economic opportunity within an established cost and time frame actually established cost and time frame and the revenues if project is not profitable then it ultimately adversely affect the profitability of the firm project management includes two things technically one is conceptually and other is people so technical aspect covers project planning objectives project work defining identifying the resources plan the schedule that uh, uh, if we bifurcate the project in 10 steps then uh, first step will be completed in how many days and accordingly then iterate run it maybe schedule is some uh, step take more time some step then in second step or next step we have to reduce the time so plan modification also if uh, we are not finding it appropriate and we need to keep on improving the technical part based on the requirement based on the availability of the skills then people part here in this slide we talk about executive management top objective signed get objective signed off track plan progress communicate with team com communicate with customer secure resources project discipline all these things are based on people's resources that uh, you know uh, uh, resource is very important and uh, people as well as material resources are quite important some features characteristics nature and some specific uh, points in project 
project has a definite beginning and ending process in a company in a firm in a organization in an ngo in a partnership firm in a llp limited liability partnership firm business keep on going and coming it's a going concern whereas project has definite beginning and definite ending it completes once the project is complete it's over duration of the project is also limited finite explained well executed well placed and should be followed with deadlines the opportunity is usually temporary when a project is given that opportunity is temporary limited time frame to produce the service if within limited time frame if the project is not completed then maybe the resources which are utilized in the project got wasted the project team seldom outline the project if you outline outline the project if you take more time than assigned to the project maybe the technical things get outdated likewise in today's corona time period if the vaccine take more than 2 years then the maybe the utility of vaccine get wasted and that's that is the concern of pharmaceutical companies that's why they are focusing that it vaccine should come in this time period where people are quite concerned about corona if after 1 year people are not bothered about corona then they may not purchase vaccine performed by a specific team project is always performed by a specific team which include various various field of people maybe technician maybe finance person maybe consultant maybe senior manager level or or diverse field and maybe executive team so all these people include maybe legal person also included in a uh, team work and then they complete the project other features unique features includes projects involve doing something that has not been done before in the same environment if any activity is done repeatedly then that is not project that is a business activities those are repeatedly do- done project may require some innovation to be completed some innovation may be required so based on our uh, uh, this brief discussion let's have one quick exercise let's see what you learnt what you could retain the first exercise is write down three attributes of projects we discuss several attributes of the project you can note down three yes you recall rightly project has a unique feature it has definite beginning and definite ending it has a time frame it need a specific team so i identified more than three project management manager role project if there is a project there should be a manager also who coordinate the overall project he takes ownership of the project he is proactive initiator taken adequately plan the project is not authoritative is decision making is good in communication is uh, project manager managed by data and facts lead by example has sound judgment is a motivator is diplomatic many time there happens conflict so need to be diplomatic also need to be flexible also can delegate the authority and responsibility because project cannot be completed by one person it need a team team has diversity diversity of specialization diversity of human nature so project manager need to be diplomatic and need to delegate the authority and responsibility then let's do second exercise quickly second exercise identify few attributes of a good project manager that we discussed in on our previous slides a project has stakeholders various stakeholders stakeholders are those people who take interest who have direct or indirect interest in that particular project it can be sponsor it can be other funding bodies maybe uh, nbfcs non banking financial companies maybe uh, hnis high net worth individuals maybe foreign institutional investors which are called fii and maybe government maybe society likewise uh, amul dairy is created by societies and there are several social entrepreneurships which are coming in tourism business also customers suppliers of course supplier of input factors and users who will finally use that project environmental agencies nowadays in last few years we identify there are several issues which are taken care by environmental agencies they are more alert nowadays they, they are talking about likewise in central government we have environment ministry we talk about the don't do construction project it create pollution then uh, pollution in uh, metro cities is high and then they give guidelines then they issue rules state government and central government 
parallelly at different point of time discuss those environmental issues maintenance team neighbors community community is very important stakeholder fusion community and interface interface is technology maybe likewise we are right now communicating with the help of it technology that is our interface we are using and it is part of the stakeholder then quick third exercise you will uh, you will say that there are so many exercises let's quick uh, recall what we are doing so can you list on few stakeholders yes yes you are right sponsor funding agencies then uh, okay who, who, who are all others managers financiers society customers supplier fine good let's discuss few examples of projects metro projects you know very famous metro project started by e sridharan he was the project manager in case of uh, metro project it was started in delhi by dmrc then in noida also nmrc noida metro rail corporation and in mumbai also and now uh, in agra and it gives very, uh, quality service of transportation then uh, others are developing a theme based destination nowadays theme like disney world is there in different uh, world level places in india also we are having theme based destinations are being constructed construction of motel on a tourist resort is can be a uh, one project then designing website for various destinations for, uh, to attract tourists more to give them information how to reach where to reach to whom to contact project on assessment of inbound tourist requirement foreign tourist coming to india they are more bothered about social security they are more more bothered about what will be take away because tourism is a service industry and we need to give a package deal so that they feel like that they are getting some product that they, they are taking home some experiences some something maybe souvenir along with forming a company to run a travel agency this can be a project developing a company developing a theme park like uh, skiing uh, parks are developed in uh, metro cities artificial skiing projects are uh, initiated then project on tourist assessment of satisfaction there are can be projects on after tourists visit how they must they are satisfied what issues they faced this can be uh, academic research or this can be industry based research projects which assessment which try to uh, bridge the gap between expectations and actual delivery and as much we reduce the gap it there will be more satisfaction then screening project ideas so once we have we come to know the background what is project let's start with from where the idea comes because they need an idea if you want to start a business if you want to start a project they need an idea entrepreneur there comes the role of entrepreneur entrepreneur is who get an idea in case of company promoter terminology is used who promote the company but in case of project there should be a business idea there should be some entrepreneur who has a vast and actually entrepreneur or investor has vast opportunities of investments of funds as we know funds are scarce funds are limited if they are they have so many opportunities why they should they why will they invest their money in this project they can invest in fds they can get return of 6 7% easily they can invest in share bazaar they can invest in derivative instruments they can invest in gold they can invest in real estate why will they invest in this project so they have various various choices with that i will discuss this in our third uh, video the ability to identify investment opportunity which can be converted into a viable business proposal so entrepreneur should have an ability to discuss these things after careful and systematic consideration ensures entrepreneurial success otherwise there cannot be success to the entrepreneur if he do not find that project is financially viable project is so project idea when an idea comes um, there can be so many ideas so we need to continue with and how to search project ideas there are several uh, interfaces platforms from which to share search the idea so very important question that comes in our mind how to scout for a new idea how to vet that new idea everybody get so many ideas we talk keep on talking about prime minister should do this or tourism minister should do this how to promote tourism government should focus more on tourism so many ideas comes in your mind how to scout for that how to vet that idea and this is our uh, your fourth exercise after listening to next 5 minute you should be able 
to get how to scout for an idea. And there are a number of uh, sources from which an entrepreneur or a businessman can gain knowledge about a project idea. Any decision to embark on a project after considering only the obvious or immediate available opportunity may lead to a lost opportunity. If you think short for short term, then maybe long term may, you may miss a big opportunity. It would be advisable to scout for a new idea from various sources with analytical mind by evaluating all the dimensions, technical, long term sustainability and financial, legal, etc. So let's discuss those tips for searching how to get an idea, how to find that which idea is better. Study of the performance of existing firms or units providing similar services preferably at the same destination can give an idea. For example, we find that uh, there are so many hotels in our uh, at our destination and we find that occupancy rate there is 70% and they are doing well, they are earning well, maybe they are earning 20% and normally market return is 10%. If our uh, economy is developing by 8%, so market overall return is 8%. They are earning 20%. So why not to initiate a project there to establish a hotel there, maybe a small hotel, because there is a space of more earning. Then next is study of project being increased by financial institutions. Financial institutions are very, very smart. If they promote some project, this means those projects are viable because financial institutions will not like that their money get wasted and they have strength, they have expertise. They have legal consultancy. They have all the skills required to evaluate a project. If some good financial institution and especially private financial institution approve some project idea, then that is worthy to be initiated. Then economic trends and demand pattern of various categories of tourists. There are various categories of tourists like family tourism. Family tourists are coming. Then group tourists are coming. Then business tourism is coming. So you need, under various categories, which demand is increasing? Likewise, in India, religious tourism is increasing a lot. So developing tourist destination, nearby religious destinations like maybe Mata Vaishnu Devi Darbar, maybe like Shirdi Sai Baba, maybe like Tirupati Mandir, maybe like Chardham Yadra, can give more revenues. An inquiry into social and cultural trends may provide valuable inputs. Social and cultural trends, what is going on? Likewise, nowadays things going on, vocal for local. Our Honorable Prime Minister emphasized on it. So people are promoting local products. Himachali Topi. People are promoting that. People are promoting cuisines of local. And that can give an idea to promote that. Likewise in Panipa, there is local handloom is promoted. So then inquiry into such business practices which is in foreign countries. Sports tourism. What activities, what uh, projects are initiated in foreign countries to promote so sports tourism. Adventure tourism what they are doing, water tourism, sports tourism, what they are doing, laser tourism, what they are doing, beach tourism, what they are doing, and then the same practices we can replicate in India. And we have done, in many cases, we have done that also. And those have been successful projects. Then very important is SWOT analysis of destination, including local resources. If we hypothetically think that we can develop anything at every destination, that is not possible. Like in desert, we can develop Desert tourism, that is good. If we develop some uh, water sports tourism there, then it may take a lot of resources and maybe local resources are wasted. There has been an issue of water uh, to local people in, at Simla, Himachal Pradesh destination. And then local people uh, resist that tourists should not come. They object it because in hilly area at top of the hill, providing water facility for uh, a sanitation facility, they, they have been issues and challenges. And that's why comes sustainable tourism. And that's local resources are not supporting and sustainability in long run may be threatened. And then the project failure chances increase. Pro current developments and need of technology for that business idea. Nowadays, technology is very important. Surviving without technology, with the traditional methods really put us on risk. But if we at the same time, if we take help Tech of technology by keeping our traditions, cultures, heritage, and that is the best combination. Searching for unfulfilled need of the market allows for a series of business opportunities. If we are able to identify any unfulfilled need, any demand if we could meet, 
Likewise, at religious places, uh, temples were not very clean. Now, Akshardham temple has been a very good tourist destination for tourists as well as for on the basis of religious sentiments also. So, if we are able to identify need of the market uh, which is unfulfilled, that can be a very good business opportunity. Searching project idea includes, see, we cannot ignore government and especially government like India where they play positive role. I said they, they means government at central level, government at state level, government at local level. We have three tier level government. Positive role in the economic development of a nation, they work as a facilitator. And our Honorable Prime Minister has emphasized always in his 5T, one is technology and other is tourism. He wants to promote tourism and tourism can uh, grow well under his guidance and uh, doing a lot. Sardar Patel statue and nearby area developed very well as a destination and it was a very good project that was initiated and a good example of project. Facilities were created, local resources were used and so provide government always provide new business opportunity for an alert entrepreneur. Likewise nowadays online learning, online projects, simulation projects are given uh, in tourism also simulation and technology can give very good opportunity to various resource persons and uh, service providers and can initiate several projects to the entrepreneur. Conversion of basic idea into a viable project requires rigorous analysis and detailed planning. Hence, the need arise for a preliminary screening of the idea to eliminate project idea which are not prima facie promising. There can be several ideas but some if we make a preliminary analysis screening of that may be based on finance, may be based on operations, may be based on technology, may be based on legal aspect. Likewise, uh, gambling has been a very good business in many countries. Las Vegas in US has been a very good destination to promote gambling and a lot of tourists are coming there. But in India that has not been a very good idea because legal aspect do not approve that idea. There are some screening devices which eliminate such alternatives. Let's discuss those. Which are those screening devices? Organization strength. What is the strength with your organization? Everything cannot be done by everyone. Your company, your firm, what resources they are having, what weaknesses are there? At micro level, at macro level, aligning with firm goal. If we go away from firm's goal, in a particular project then maybe resources are wasted. I give you a very quick and simple example in which I was also involved. Uh, Mitsubishi started making a, a pen. They started making blue pen. It went well and it was very good idea and they started earning profit. Then they involved other ink pen also and they started with green and blue and that went well. Then they started red also, black. That also went well, demand was there, but profit of the company started reducing and there came a role of our, they gave us a project to find out where was the problem. So the firm goal was not matching with all the colors. Green and red color needed more cleaning of the equipments before producing green and red ink pen. Same chemicals more or less used, same costing uh, inputs were there, but activity increased and that activity increased the cost and that reduced the profit. So aligning with the firm goal while initiating a project is very much important. Educate market. If the market is not sufficient to cover up the uh, cost to uh, generate such revenues, then that may create problem in long run. Availability of infrastructure. If you are developing water sports, there should be water. Electricity, transportation, basic facilities, Social security has been a great concern and hurdle in developing tourism in India, which has been always an issue and challenge. Social security, we need to promote a lot. We need to promote a lot. I give you a very quick example. In NCR, Delhi Capital Region, National Capital Region, NCR, we find so many companies are coming to Gurgaon, so many theme parks have been developed in Gurgaon, so many tourists are coming, so many customers are coming, business is coming there in Gurgaon. But in Noida, in UP, especially in Ghaziabad, tourists are not coming because they find feel social security threat. And th this is the main reason tourists visit Agra 
maximum tourist visit Agra when they come to NCR. But you can find and you, you might have analyzed or identified that those tourists are not staying there overnight. If they are not staying there, hotel business is not running there and then uh, other sites in are not being promoted and revenue from that tourism is less. Availability of essential inputs are, is again important. So that is very important and uh, those uh, we need to take care of it. So project next is project formulation and preparation. So uh, in, if we have an idea, we need to formulate a report. We need to design a report by having several things in our mind so that we can initiate a project and project report is being prepared for project inception and then finally after completion project report is submitted and project is introduced so while incepting a project formulating it or preparing a project we need to know these things we need to list down these things scoping the project and exploring the possibility risk assessment and management quality objective pre-analysis we can do project strategy and goal that need to be uh, identified, communication plan, formulation of monitoring and evaluation plan, work plan, budget plan, elements of project proposal and many others are various formulation and preparation themes, ideas which we need to take, and, uh, take care while initiating a project. So when we formulate a project, incept an idea, get an idea, then we need to prepare a report as we discussed previously. So project report formulation of generally includes the preparation of report. A report is a document setting out a detail in nature of the activity proposed and the justification for selection and commitment of resources which are generally desired at six M's, very famous terminology. Men, machine, material, management, money, methods to complete that activity. Men is resources, machine is technology, money is capital, market is required, customer is required and like this. So let's come, uh, discuss our last assignment that is exercise 5 that what all should a project report contain and what should be there, what should be the content of the project report that we will discuss quickly by covering all 6 M's should be covered to complete a project. Project report should include detail about the organization or the firm that is promoting the project, aligning with the goals of the firm, how this project will help the firm in positive way by adding profits, by adding revenues, by adding customers, maybe by adding market, maybe by adding diversified service, maybe by reducing risk and many more. Promoters detail are required their track record, their qualification, how much funds they are initiating, what skills they are adding may not be some promoter is adding funds but they may be adding technical skills and that is very important need to be introduced here. Particulars about the project, project need, uh, specifications are required, what technology arrangements are required, what location project will be initiated, land and building, plant and machinery if required in case of hotels plant and machineries are required equipments are required specific equipment equipment to develop a kitchen particular of the project include material labor inputs are required what type of skilled unskilled labor staff managerial staff technical skill required if uh, utilities like power water supply schedule of implementation when it will be implemented by bifurcating the whole project in various steps by identifying unique activities in it so that we can evaluate time to time that project is done on timely cost of the project is very important that need to be mentioned what will be the cost cost of if possible cost of different activities and phases and if some independent sub project can be initiated its cost also should be defined sources of financing once we know the cost we need to know the sources from where the funds will come the marketing and selling strategy what will be there so that we can make our product successful including other things like profitability and cash flow gestation period gestation period normally talks about that to, uh, how for how long the product uh, project will be under construction under uh, initiation 
it will take how much time to market that product to sell that product under uh, this project so that is gestation period is the time duration taken to in the production process likewise in hotel maybe it take two year to produce, uh, set up the hotel uh, to make it functional and then making it profitable pep break even point that we discussed previously also talks about to what extent what will be that point where cost and profit will a uh, cost and revenue will be equal and there will be no profit and loss situation then onward it will be more profitable economic considerations what are the economic right. issues government consent if required environmental consent license accordingly likewise for a bar we need license in a restaurant if you are running a bar in our hotel declaration of the promoters that they will promote it they will finance it wherever required all these things are very important so uh, let's uh, so in our first video we try to con talk about what is project how it is initiated how idea comes how to evaluate those ideas how to scout those ideas whether there come so many ideas and all these things are then documented reported as a project initiation so thank you very much for joining to, uh, in this video next we will talk about feasibility study of our projects thank you